Hey everybody, it's me, Ashley, <laughs> and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick little Valentine's Day look. It is does have the traditional pink, purple, and burgundy, and a pink lip, of course. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then keep on watching. You can tell I'm super excited because I have my base, so brows, foundation, and concealer. And I'm going in with my favorite palette at the moment, moment <laughs> the Jackie Ina ABH palette. And we're going in first with edges. And I'm putting this in my inner corner. And right when I'm about to put it on, I'm looking in the mirror, looking, and I'm like, hey, hey. And I'm like, oh, wait, what? Uh, I put foundation on my eyelids, which I don't do sometimes. Well, if I do, I usually put powder down and I didn't and it started to crease and it looked really funky. So I patted it away to lay my foundation down or <laughs> my eyeshadow down. We're going to speed through this because do you really want to watch me slow or well, regular speed do this? It looks way cooler sped up. And I'm just doing that in my crease to warm it up. And then I'm going in with credit. And that's like a burgundy orange. And I'm putting that in my outer V. I didn't use too much because I didn't really plan on using very much of it. <laughs> and uh, I just used it mostly to put dimension in my outer V and I'm looking at my vice palette from Urban Decay like mm, memory is not correct not the colors I thought I would need <laughs> and I'm so watching my brush and these are really good when you want to get rid of the eyeshadow that you were previously using without having to use a whole bunch of brushes and I'm going back in with the Jackie Ina palette to the color I thought was in the vise. And I'm using Wigglease. And it's a beautiful sparkly burgundy shade. It's like a cranberry. It's really pretty. All right. So we are going to speed through this. And again, this eyeshadow is freaking gorgeous. Why is my mouth open? I have no clue. Well, you know it helps with the applying eyeshadow. Try it out. Oh my. <laughs> and then I was using my swatch to clean off my brush and I'm going in to blend those two shadows together. And I'm coming back <laughs> and I went to sit down on my stool and I totally missed it and almost fell on the ground. And I got this Jelly Much eyeshadow from ColourPop. And that pink is gorgeous, right? It's going to pop with that burgundy. And I think that one's part of the Disney collection. When I seen the when I seen those shadows, I bought almost all of them. And how much, how many times have I used them? Less than a handful. But I'm going in my inner corner with that color. And you can see me looking like, mm, yeah. Not much payoff with the brush and definitely not the color I thought would be coming, would show up. Thought it'd be a lot more pink. So I used my finger instead and got Hella Color Payout. And it looks amazing. But also, doesn't look 
as pink as I thought it would. Looks more purple pink. Purple with pink reflex. But you know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> it is kind of overwhelming and I'm like, I'm gonna tone that down. And I brushed off the excess. Well, tried to. I didn't do very good. I did do a decent job. But I should have did my eyes and then did my face uh, makeup. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then I'm going back in with Jackie Ina palette with Wigglyse. And I'm going to be doing the other half of my lower eyelid because I did the other half in the Jelly Mud Shadow. I can't remember the name of it. I'm like, yes, this look, it's coming together. I'm feeling myself, you can tell. Super excited, because I thought it was gonna be a dud. Thought I heard something. It was nothing. <laughs> and then I'm going in with, I think that's NYX. And it's their just a liquid eyeliner matte. I don't need a satin or any else kind of shiny eyeliner. My face is shiny enough. And then I'm going in with my mascara, my current love for the moment. And then I'm using my Royal Cosmetics lashes. You get a book of five, and then she has some other ones too, but those are Cleopatra lashes. And now I'm deciding um, which lip look to pair with my eyes. And I actually think that one would have looked really good. I almost picked it, but I'm like, no, no, I want to do like a pinky look. That wouldn't have looked very good, but it was pinky. That one might have looked really good, too. And then I ended up going with this Tom Ford, which was more of a dusty rose color. And I'm using a ColourPop eyeliner, <laughs> eyeliner, lip liner. And I'm just blotting the lipstick on and mixing the two together to give me the look that I lip look I was looking for. And I think it came out really good. Just need to touch up a few spots because it doesn't look as good as it could. And I'm like, mm, you know what? I can need one more thing. I'm going to use my Royal Cosmetics lip gloss. And this is in Bronze Reflex. And I think it was a good addition. I was going to use a pink lip gloss, but I think this, would, this is better. And it also smells amazing. And you can pick up Royal Cosmetics. Um... If you go on my Instagram, I have it linked. You can go through Beauty by Haley. If you use my code ASH03, you get a percentage off of your sales, off your uh, order, and I do get a small profit. Um, I had my lashes sitting, waiting for the glue to get sticky, and they would look great. They're like the perfect addition to this look. These are my favorite lashes out of the five that I have. And now I'm going in with my blush. This is Desert Rose also from NYX. Really feeling myself, you could see. <laughs> I'm looking for a brush, even though everything's right in front of me.
I really like how this eye look turned out. It's not exactly what I expected, but it still, look, still looks amazing. Now I'm going to be wearing this look for quite a while, at least on my YouTube channel, because I post made like four videos wearing it. Keep a lookout for those. And I added my shirt to the look in the name of Valentine's Day, you know, had to do a little bit more pink. And I put this shadow, highlight shadow under my brows and I don't think it was completely necessary. I mean, it didn't detract from the look, but I didn't think it was needed. I was just going a little overboard, feeling myself. <laughs> I recorded this um, before I went to watch football in us not wearing either team's colors but i was thought i looked cute my team lost though so whatever and this is the finished look if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment below and i'll see you in the next video bye